The U.S. Coast Guard launched a search and rescue operation Monday to find the missing submersible vessel carrying five people to the Titanic shipwreck site. The search began after a Canadian ship alerted Sunday morning that it lost contact with the vessel led by Ocean Gate Expeditions, reported to be on a dive approximately 900 miles off the Cape off of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. The Titanic sub has been missing for over two days and rescuers are racing against the clock. As the U.S. Guard predicts, it only has about 50 hours left before oxygen runs out. Now, according to reports, U.K. billionaire businessman Hamish Harding and one of Pakistan's wealthiest men, Shahzada Dawood and his son Suleiman Dawood are among those on board. Voyagers paid a quarter of a million dollars to join the expedition, which dives two miles down to the Titanic. Um, so it's important to put into context that the depth of the Titanic is such, and the, the technology that is able to get you to the bottom of the ocean is such that very few people go. These kinds of expeditions are very rare and intrinsically very dangerous, that the most of the ocean floor is unmapped and there, we know less about it. And in some ways it's kind of equally, dist, uh, equally dangerous as a trip to the moon. They are under enormous amount of pressure. There's the potential for these kinds of ships to collapse in on themselves if they're not pressurized properly. Yeah, it, it is very dangerous. And um, I mean, I was reading uh, David Pogue, who's a science writer who went on one of these trips and was just describing it. And it just sounded, so there were like five days where they could do this this dive where the vehicle would take him down. And there was bad weather on two of the days, so they couldn't do it. And then one of the times they went down, but they just, they did not spot the Titanic. They couldn't find it because it's 14,000 feet down. You don't, it, it's, 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 it's really far out there. <laughs> I mean, there's no, there was no guarantee. Yeah. So the, the, finally, the fifth day, they actually did see it. Um, Look, I don't think anyone should have um, too much like false confidence here. This was an extremely, there are a lot of risks associated. Um, the loss of contact, the time that has elapsed. Yeah. Um, it, it, is, it is going to be very difficult to find this vessel at all, let alone in a time frame. And the time frame might not even apply because there are a thousand things that could have gone wrong to render this you know, no, no longer a rescue mission. Obviously, right. we should try to find out what happened. But um, so, I, nobody yeah. should really be going into this with, uh, I mean, miracles can take place, but. Right, well, there, there's two scenarios, right? That it could be on the bottom of the ocean floor, which in some ways might make it easier to find because maybe there's less mo so motion. No but way. even if it rises to the top, because assuming it, it still has integrity, then it is designed to be buoyant. It has to be pushed down. It's an air-filled capsule, so it will be buoyant, but that even if they are floating along the top of the, of the surface of the water, it has to be found, and they cannot unseal themselves from the vessel on their own. They have to be found so that it can be unscrewed from the outside, such that it's still a race against the clock. Just because they're bobbing on the top of the ocean doesn't mean that they are right. safe or able to breathe. Right. I mean, it's... <laughs> the, ocean, the ocean floor is so vast and so remote. I mean, the wreckage of the Titanic sat down there for, well, it was found in 1985. Mm. They, knew, they knew roughly where it was, and it's a gigantic ship. Mm -hmm. And it still took 60 years to find it. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, no expert, I have no idea. I, you know, best wishes and everything. People are working around the clock to find the vessel, but this, this sounds like a, a very um, difficult and frankly unlikely rescue. But uh, yeah, but yeah. I, this is so. This is uh, interesting. Uh, international waters are not regulated. Some some waters are regulated. The water around Antarctica, the Arctic, is. But this is this is kind of no man's land. Right. Um, so it's a it's a private company that it's was doing these. Private company, and apparently um, these these uh, vessels are uh, vessels that go to the depth that this one goes to are. Unregulated. So it's when James Cameron went to, to the Titanic for the purposes of the film, he built his own submersible. This isn't, we're, we're not in the realm of kind of military capable Navy certified vessels. It's individuals who are kind of taking this risk upon themselves and constructing craft for their own specific purposes. So when James Cameron went down, so then he surfaced and found out that 9 11 had happened. Is that true? Yeah. Did you know that? I did not isn't know that. Isn't that wild? Yeah, so it was a little bit of a reminder. Wait, that's not right. I just read it yesterday. Because it's gotta be right. Titanic came out in 1998. I think he was doing. Um, I think the dive was for like additional footage for a 
Okay. The release of the. Because I right. definitely Talk remember. Talk while I Google this grade. to make sure I didn't <laughs> read grade something. Eighth Celine Dion. Yeah. So um, the. The, it's, the, the Titanic, I had to ask this question because I wasn't even sure where the sinking of it happened. Mm -hmm. About 900 miles off of the coast of Boston, off of Cape Cod, 13,000 feet deep. This is uh, below the level where we're kind of imagining a lot of sea life. Can't blame the orcas on this one. This is deeper oh, than... The orcas. <laughs> it's deeper than, you know, a lot of what we conceive of when we're thinking about the ocean. This is literally largely uncharted territory. The craft went underwater on Sunday morning and it lost contact with the, uh, the surface vessel about an hour and 45 minutes later, according to the Coast Guard. Mm. So it wasn't very far into the, the trip at all before some kind of disaster struck. So I've just verified Newsweek fact-checked this? Yes. True. The story often repeated on social media and movie blocks is true. James Cameron was in a submarine exploring the Titanic wreck the moment September 11th took okay. place. Okay, so it wasn't for the movie, but it was, he was just taking I think down it was for Ghosts of the Abyss, a subsequent documentary about I Titanic. See. Yeah. I see. So a part of the discourse that's been happening about this online um, is some people who, because of schadenfreude or what have you, are being very critical of the choice to pay a quarter of a million dollars to go on an expedition like this. The idea that there are people wealthy enough, obviously, as we mentioned, a couple of uh, millionaires on the trip, people wealthy enough to, to do something like this for fun, something that's very dangerous, that puts all of the um, support infrastructure, the guides, et cetera, at, at risk as well for a kind of a joy ride has led people to be perhaps less sympathetic and more critical of this. The search and rescue efforts and the money that that entails is also drawing yeah. some scrutiny. What do you make I mean, of that? I mean, it's dangerous, but let, you know, it's, I mean, skiing is dangerous. Whitewater rafting is dangerous. All sorts of activities that people do you know, some small percentage of them. But there's a there's a, there's a scale difference yeah. here, Robbie. No. Well, look, you, if you want to spend your money on this kind of thing, I think that's your right. I Would I want to spend my money if I had a quarter million dollars lying around? Uh, I don't think y you do either. When, we, when Rising really starts paying the big bucks, you and I are not taking our <laughs> submarine trip to the bottom of the no. sea. No, no, but the kind but. of person, so Harding, um, English, British businessman Hamish Harding, uh, one of the mission specialists, is an adventurer who holds three Guinness World Records, including the longest duration at full ocean depth by a crewed vessel. I mean, some people, yeah, that's. In 2021, that's he uh, he and another ocean explorer dived to the lowest depth of the Mariana Trench. So he is no stranger to these kind of dives. It, you know, it will be. Yeah. You know, it'll be obviously a tragedy. So Titanic is not in a trench, but it's basically as far down as you can be without being in a trench, yeah. which is very far down. So anyway, we'll continue to follow this story and hope for a positive update. Um, more rising after this.